Hello ladies and gents, welcome to Say It Now, Say It Loud, where I give my commentary and feedback to the latest entertainment, news, and hot topics. If this is your first time here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you can get those notifications, and let's get it cracking. Alright guys, so we are here today with a new video. So today's topic is Sierra's prayer honey yes tune in tune in tune in all my ladies out there men if you want to tune in as well because i'm pretty sure you know what i'm saying y'all want a woman similar to sierra somebody you know that you can grow with and just have a happily ever after somebody that's good to you so this can apply to men and women, but specifically I made this video for the women out there because I've been seeing every time there is some news or some type of post on Instagram related to Russell Wilson and Sierra, you got the ladies in the comments asking Sierra, honey, give up the prayer. What is the prayer? What have you done to, you know, get a man who is so faithful and so good. So this has been on my mind for a while. I've been wanting to do this video for a good little minute. Me, of course, I'm married as well to a lovely husband, a king, honey, that was sent to me from the most high. So me, I wouldn't say, um, you know, I'm a hopeless romantic, but I would say I want love for everyone. When I see people in situations or uh, couples and people throughout social media, I'd be wanting for you guys to work out. Um, I'm talking about entertainment, celebrities, YouTubers, whatever the situation is. Love is something that is beautiful. I know a lot of people downplay love and, you know, um, they don't take it as serious because of the things that they have gone through in the past in the past situations but honey love is a beautiful thing and everybody deserves it so the first thing i want to say in regards to this situation with uh sierra and her prayer ladies we got to stop praying for um stop asking sierra for her prayer that's one thing the reason i say this is because we can't be out here praying for another person's situation. Now, it's okay to want to have somebody that is similar to Russell Wilson when it comes down to the way he treats Sierra and, you know, just the way that he is with her. And, of course, he accepted her son, who is not biologically his. So, of course, I'm pretty sure there's men out there who have done that as well as women. But... I'm just saying, be careful about what you pray for. Stop praying for other people's situation and ask God to bless you with your own situation. It may not be the same exact thing that Sierra has, which is meant for you. You get what I'm saying? What God has for you is for you and what God has for Sierra is for her. So start praying, Lord, bless me with somebody that is for me you know what i'm saying you never know what goes on behind closed doors of these uh you know couples and the relationships marriages i'm not saying anything bad happens but when i say what goes on behind closed doors is of course we have disagreements we have um spats we have issues as far as like going back and forth disagreeing on different topics or situations but the way that we, you know, a woman, a wife is able to handle the situation with her husband and come down to a conclusion. At the end of the day, we didn't kill each other. Um, you know, we didn't split up. It's because you and that person, me and my husband, are meant for each other. God placed us in each other's lives. So if I'm here praying for somebody else's situation, and, you know, give me somebody just like Russell Wilson or give me somebody just like uh, who else? Uh, LL Cool J or um, Will Smith, you know, just to name a few. Then at the end of the day, I may be blessed with somebody. Well, I won't say blessed. I may be uh, given someone who really isn't compatible with me. 
So you have to pray for your own situation. Another thing, ladies, um, you have to put yourself in a position to receive that prayer, to receive that blessing. Now, if you're on social media, busting it wide open and just giving everything away for free, um, I mean, you know, you get what you put out there. If you are looking for a wholesome man, somebody who's going to respect you, somebody who's going to treat you right, that doesn't, um, you know, it doesn't equate to, or it's, it's, it's not, uh, it doesn't make sense for you to be on social media and, you know, showing all type of shots and just dressing provocative and expecting, you can't expect someone to uh, grasp the attention of a man who would want to marry you, you know, when you've given away things like that or um, just dressing very raunchy and doing the most and doing all type of sexual acts and stuff on social media, then that's what you're going to get. You get what you give. And that's anything in life, not just with uh, relationships. That's with all situations. You get what you give. So, you know, you have to be careful with that as well. Put yourself in a position where you can receive what you're praying for. Because if you're doing the opposite, it's not going to add up. Another thing, stop seeking going after men. Um, The Bible says who... The man that finds a wife finds a good thing. So that's basically let somebody find you, you know. Like I said, put yourself in a position, though, to receive. And allow a man to come and find you. Don't be so desperate to hop into a relationship. Don't be so desperate to, um, you know, just be with someone. It's okay to take time for yourself. It's okay to get to know yourself especially if you just got out of a relationship um it's okay to get to know yourself and you know you know it doesn't work like that for everybody because some people are able to move on some people been knew that the situation they were in wasn't for them so they're comfortable with moving on so you know be honest with yourself and how you feel on the inside if you just broke up with somebody and you feel like you're not ready to move on to another situation, then, you know, take your time. It's okay. But all in all, guys, the prayer, Sierra's prayer, is just that. Her prayer. So, like I said, of course, it's okay to want the same qualities, the characteristics that, you know, Russell Wilson has or these other celebrities with good men but pray for something for yourself. Stop asking her for her prayer. Pray for something that God has in store for you. And um, like I said, put yourself in that position. And that goes for ladies, men, and women. What you give out is what you're going to get back. If you are online being ratchet, if you're online um, seeking attention through, you know, sexual pictures then of course a man is going to come at you in a way that he wants just what he sees he's not going to you know want to wife somebody like that I mean like I said some people are freaks (laughs) Uh, some men like women like that but nine times out of ten a real man is not going to want to wife you or marry someone who is out here just getting loose on the gram so guys let me know what you think down below um chime in on this situation and also don't forget to follow me on instagram at say it now say it loud underscore and don't forget to subscribe until next time have a blessed one